automobile accidents, workplace things. I don't handle those cases. But if you or someone you love has been a victim of a wet paint accident, then call me, attorney Curtis Copeland. The pain and humiliation caused by wet paint can be devastating and often permanent. Obviously, I love to look sharp. So that goddamn wet paint ruined my shit. I can't wear it like that. That's why I'm dedicated to making sure you get the compensation you deserve. My accident was just awful. All I remember was the laugh, 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 laugh. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Let's go. I still can't believe it happened. I went over to my friend Larry's house to watch TV. I sat down on the couch, and I immediately knew something was wrong. Uh, Larry, what's, what's this, man? Is this a joke? I had paint all over me. What kind of fool paints a couch? No one can erase that humiliating memory or bring back that favorite pair of paint. But I can make sure you get a whole lot of money. I'm Curtis Copeland, and you got my word on it. Curtis Copeland, attorney at law. Call 1-800-R-SHIT. Help! Help! From New York City, it's the Chris Rock Show. Tonight's guest star, D.L. Hughley. With musical guest, Outcast. Musical director, Grandmaster Flash. Ladies and gentlemen, Prince Uh, Bruce Springsteen, you know, the boss, 
you know, had to call the white man the ball. Hey, he the ball. James Brown's just the bus boy, huh? Uh, Bruce Springsteen announced that he was releasing a CD box set, you know, con you know going to contain 66 previously unreleased tracks recorded over the past 20 years. Now, not to be outdone, the artist formerly known as Prince has announced that he will be releasing 66 boxes of albums that he recorded since he strained his ankle last Saturday. He always working, man. What else is going on? The woman who was stalking David Letterman committed suicide. Ooh, ooh, couldn't take that Terry Gaw episode. Now, authorities say instead of a suicide note, she left a top ten reason why she had to kill herself. <laughs> All right. What else is going on? The old dirty bastard is back in the news. So old Dirty Bastard was kicked out, of, I just read this today, was kicked out of a hotel in Berlin for committing a lewd act. You know, when you're the old Dirty Bastard, you'll commit a lewd act every time you tell somebody your name. <laughs> you know, old Dirty Bastard. I love the old Dirty Bastard, Brooklyn. You know, when your name's the old Dirty Bastard, you just don't have any white plans, do you? You don't plan on getting a credit card. <laughs> you can't get a loan for your house. You can't go in front of the co-op board with your name old dirty bastard. I mean, even if you took out the dirty, you'd still be old bastard. <laughs> you know. He's our friend, and we, we wish him well. Now, uh, on Monday, you know, after, you know, Monday after the secret diary of Desmond Pfeiffer, anybody watch that new hot show? Yeah, I know you like it. Now, right after, right after the show aired, a survey was taken, you know, viewers, you know, 8% of the viewers said they thought the sitcom about slavery was mildly offensive. 14% said they thought the sitcom about slaves was very offensive. And 78% said they'd rather be slaves than to watch that shit again. <laughs> now, now, speaking of Desmond Pfeiffer, uh, this week, see right here, in Jet Magazine, Jet is in Jet, so you know it's correct. <laughs> in Jet Magazine, <laughs> The UPN wrote an open letter to African Americans explaining, you know, the, you know, the show. So I'm going to read from the letter. No, this is this is from Jet. You know it's correct. <laughs> now, the show. Now the UPN said this. The show is a broad satire that parries contemporary politics. It's been accused of making light of slavery, and this is simply is not true. That's what they say. And then it goes on to say, we value our television viewers including those that have made UPN the most popular network among African-American viewers. Now, that's really nice of the UPN. But then they got the P.S. <laughs> down here. P.S., you got to read the fine print on these things. Now, they said the show starts sharply at 9 o'clock. So try to get your lazy black asses out of bed by 5. That way you have time to play your numbers and exchange your food stamps. For a bucket of chicken of some 40s and a bag of barbecue potato chips. Thank you. We appreciate your viewership, the UPN. And PPS, take care of them ugly kids. It's in jet. You know it's correct, because it's in jet. Bester got a new album coming out. It's going to... Concentrate on relationships. Vesta always took it to the tilt, man. Okay, what else is going on? The kids are back in school. The kids are back in school. A lot of moms and dads, you know, bought school supplies, like, you know, races and crayons. Now, I recently learned that the Crayola Company finally got rid of a crayon that for many years they called flesh. Flesh, it was the color of a white person's 
flesh. You know, that ain't right. So you ain't white, you don't got no flesh? I don't look veinish. Shit, I don't got veins sticking out. You know, about the crown company, you know, they still got some crowns in there that they need to take out. Now, I bought a box of Crayola crayons myself. And then some of these crayons have just gone too far. Now, look at this. Look at this one right here. Bloody engine. That ain't nice. That should be Native American bloody engine. This is their land. It'd be at least give them a nice crayon. Shit. What else we got in here? Nice color. Chink. What the hell is wrong with these people? Crayola people. Your kids can get rid It should be Asian American. I love Rush Hour. Come on. What else we got here? Uh, Irish erection. What the hell is this? What, what is this? Uh, children can get a hold of this. You know, and, and it's right in a little print that says actual size. I don't understand. What's the last one? Chris Rock's ass. What the hell? I don't, I don't understand it. I, and I, don't, I don't get one dime for this. If they can exploit me, they can exploit you. I don't know, man. So as you know, as everybody knows, Yankee Great and friend of the show, Dal Strawberry, underwent successful, successful surgery this past week to remove a cancer skin. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Love Dow, my favorite play. Now, operation went so well that the doctors say Dow should make a full recovery. In fact, the surgery was so successful that the Yankees released footage of the actual procedure. And we have it here at the Chris Rock Show. So let's take a look. Spread it. Spread it. Okay, the doctor is making the incision. That's, that's a brother, that's good. Forceps. Now he's removing the tumor. Go on, brother. There he is. He's going to dispose of it. There's the delivery. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Look at those enthusiastic baseball fans. Family folks, piece of history. There they go. Oh, look at him. Oh, that is one lucky fan right there. Woo. He's going to get a lot of money for that. Yeah. We wish Daryl and his family all the best. Now, we got a great show for you tonight, but first, give it up for the one, the only, Grandmaster Flash. Yeah. Still got it flash. It's still flashing it, huh? The jig a jig. I remember when you said jig a jig. But now you're jig a jig. Okay. Now, Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky, you know, this scandal has filled the media with sexually explicit information unsuitable for children. Right? 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 Yeah. And parents have complained that their kids are now asking questions they don't know how to answer. So we here at the Chris Rock Show <laughs> decided to help, you know, and our in-house experts had made a video just for kids to show, you know, how, how parents can deal with this crisis. So now, I want everybody here to take a look at this video for the kids. Hi, kids, I'm Scoop the Clown, and this is my friend Bootsy. <laughs> now, I know you've heard some grown up words that you find very confusing. Well, we're gonna help you understand Wowsy Wee. Scoop, what is oral sex? All oral sex is, is when a man sticks his penis in a woman's mouth. This is called fellatio. Fellatio. Another word for fellatio is blowjob. Although there's no actual blowing involved. Let's see how a blowjob works. Now, if this penis were the president's, then this mouth would be Monica Lewinsky's. <laughs> now, I know it seems pretty silly to stick your penis in someone's mouth, but we correctly done a blowjob is the best job in the whole world. 
Il est du point de What about us girls, Scoopo? Well, a man can perform oral sex on a woman, too. This is called cunnilingus. Cunnilingus. That's when a man sticks his tongue in a woman's vagina. <laughs> Another term for cunnilingus is head. <laughs> Let's show him, Boopsy. Well, this is a semen, but there's another kind of semen. Semen is the fluid that shoots out of the penis during ejaculation. Kit, another word for semen is cum, or as Lil' Kim likes to call it, Kool-Aid. <laughs> so, all that happened is Monica Lewinsky gave the president a blow job. He ejaculated and got some cum on her dress. Well, kids, that does it for me. But remember, be good, and when you're older, don't perform oral sex on someone unless you really trust them. And boys, don't be dumb. Clean up your cum. Bye-bye. <laughs> stand-up comics in the whole country and now he stars in his own ABC sitcom called The Uglies. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for D.L. Ugly. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I tell you what, I've been doing all these damn interviews. I ain't got the cuss. I know Regis and Kathy Lee got to talk normal. You know what's funny? You and Regis and Kathy Lee, they act like you new guys. Right. See, right. this your people. Right, these, these are people. These are people. Right. These are like... They, 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 they the watch you on BET. Yes. They yes. been there. Right. right. Saw you when you was on... I remember when you was on Fresh Prince. Hey, don't, don't, bring, that. don't, don't bring that up. I ain't got no residual check Hey, yet. hey, I was a... I, I played a girl on the Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least you played a comedian. <laughs> Man, that shit that you just did, the, that was out. You, I want to do some HBO shit like that. <laughs> Fuck around and talk about the president. Like, look at you, man. <laughs> now, what, what's the difference between uh, working at BET and ABC? A whole lot of money, player. That's, <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> BET paid weekly. It was just very fucking weekly. All this. <laughs> you know, you know, the people ain't got your money. Let me holler at you for a minute. See, we had had. <laughs> You know when the people ain't got no, hey, look, uh, player, look, you want a drink or something? <laughs> Motherfucker, I want my check. <laughs> you don't know, you can find white people don't have to have their check. You ain't got black people check, they ain't fine. <laughs> black people be, hey, let, oh, you ain't got it? All right, I'm just gonna start taking shit to the dad. <laughs> to the dad, to the shit that you owe me. And that's what we don't do that. <laughs> Like, you know what's why? Because your stand up's buck wild. Right, right. Now you gotta do the, the, the family show right, at right, the same right. time. So you're like this, this double guy. Right. Like, I'm sure people are gonna go like watch the show, then come out and see you. Like, right. Like, uh, <laughs> we gonna lose some white fans now. Ain't we? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get anything about the Clinton thing? Man, let me tell you something. Everybody, man, that man ain't nothing but a man. That's all he is. Fuck around. That's all he is. That's all he is. If he, you know, it was just his choice of women people was mad about. Like, if he would fuck with Sharon Stone or Tony Braxton, wouldn't nobody say shit. <laughs> you fuck with a big woman, people gonna be mad at you, you know? Except the big woman. Except the... <laughs> I sure like the way he do that. Let me, <laughs> Let me tell you something. And, and men know, every big woman and ugly woman go all out. Ain't no, ain't no rules. You can call a big woman 2 o'clock in the morning. What you doing? I ain't doing nothing. You coming by? They <laughs> don't give a fuck. <laughs> Big woman, you can do all kind of freaky shit to a big woman. Hey, girl, I want to hit you in the head with a baseball bat, huh? Let me move my baby hair out the way then. Huh? Don't hit me hard. I got to dry that bus tomorrow. You, you play too rough. <laughs> they don't care, man. I love, I love the big one. Yeah. Everybody should have one. Everybody should have yeah. one. That nobody know about. I got one in the back over there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at my wife would be interested in this. That's where your ass be at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Smelling like snacks when you come home. <laughs> You just, you just, I'm just setting you up. Right, right, right. Knock right. them out the bar. Pow! Right. Pow, no, right. you just came back from New York. Let me tell you something. People, like, look here, I talked a lot of stuff about this country. I ain't never moving. Fuck that. You, you go to Europe, man, everybody outside this country stank. You ever notice that? <laughs> I don't. You ever been trapped on the elevator with five fucking ass French people? All that perfume there, man. You figure they bust some of them, some of them and rub some on their nasty ass, boy. And black, we are, you know, and black folk, we can't take no nasty folk. We, we don't even eat over everybody else. Who made the green? Did Big Mama make these greens right here? Then they took me to a Chinese restaurant in Europe where they actually serve dog. I swear to God, dog, you can have quail. You, now you think about it, you ain't never seen no Chinese folk walking no dog, cause you don't want food. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't never seen niggas walking chickens, have you? No. <laughs> I ain't gonna be seeing on ABC, y'all know. <laughs> it's gonna be different on ABC. A brother walking right, in right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. Oh my god, no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just enjoying the show. <laughs> I'm just sitting back like, yeah, this is the best scene now. <laughs> now, you got, now, you gotta do the kids thing, and you have to explain. Like, you're working with ABC, right. and you got, you're doing a show with. You know, black family. Right, right. There ain't and a lot of black family. Yeah. Black family ain't shit happening like that in the ghetto. Like, let me tell you something. When I grew up, like white kids, when I, we moved to an all white neighborhood, and they get the whole costume on Halloween. <laughs> the whole shit, the boots and the power belt and the, the cape that you got to throw away. I was a Klansman every <laughs> year. <laughs> <laughs> You know me? Black folks just had a mask and street clothes on. <laughs> Mama, who I'm supposed to be? You get the fuck out the house, man. That's what it is. You want to be a superhero? They won't be, get you no cape. You can here use this this towel, and, and it's hard to be a superhero with a short cape and a duck on your back. Don't nobody respect your superpowers. Nobody. Man. You have no powers. No. Powers to just go the fuck home. <laughs> and then your mama didn't buy no candy on Halloween. Y'all cut them uh. goddamn lights off. <laughs> Cut them lights off and shut the fuck up for they think you're home. They don't care. <laughs> my, my mother would lie to us. Right. And she knew we didn't have no candy. She'd tell us, don't open the door. It's Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what it is? Because when black kids grow up, see, white kids, they got a retarded child, they're going to send that child to a school just for retarded children. Right. Black folk won't even admit their child got no problem. <laughs> They won't get your crazy ass in this house. <laughs> and shut the fuck up. I don't know. Get your ass in this house. You would be in the black neighborhood and see a grown man walking around with underwear and Stacey Adams on. <laughs> the crazy white folk go to the crazy house, crazy black folks stay in that back room over your grandma's house. <laughs> Standing in the screen door eating graham crackers. <laughs> Lydell, if you don't get your crazy ass in this house. We don't, you know, we don't never admit they're crazy. No, no. Like, uh, even, even like mental illness. Right. <laughs> Cause we need psychiatrists right, too. Right, right, right. right. That's we like, do an episode about that. Shit, actually. a brother don't go to a psychiatrist unless right. the court orders it. Why are you there, motherfucker? Is, is either that or sixty days? <laughs> oh, we gotta get out of here, man. Right, thanks, thanks a man. lot. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.
everybody go to the back of the bus. Do you want to pump and stroke with us? We the type of people that we're going to feel for. Many a day has passed, the night has gone by. But till I find the time to put that bump up in your eye. Total chaos for these playoffs, so we was asking. We're taking another route to represent the Dungeon family like Ray Day. Me and my nigga decided to take the back way. We stabbing every city, then we headed to that back gate. What do we do, mock ya? Full dog and hoes like them Georgetown hoes. What the sign of silly thing? I'm always sitting pretty. Do a donut, like we suckers, like them suckers on our titties. Damn. Be the committee, go burn it down. But that's gonna bust you in the mouth with the course. Now say, I have pushed that buzz. Everybody move to the back of the bus. Say, do you want to bump and slump with us? We the type of people made the club get Come on and say, I have pushed that buzz. Everybody move to the back of the bus. Do you want to bump and slump with us? Now, I met a gypsy and she hit me to some life game. Right, yeah. Stimulate and activate the left and right, right. Say, right. hey, baby, boy, you only focus at your last dance. Could you focus on the best to answer me your ass? What? What? Well, that's what you live by, or either that's what you die to. I try to just know what that you determine your own adventure. Andre, Dre, Ski. After what takes it hit my destination, she got off the boat. The conversation lingered in my head for hours. Took a shower, kind of sour. It's my favorite group ain't coming with it, but I'm with you, because you're probably going to do it anyway. But, but anyhow, when it down, we know not about it, because I thought it would be jamming. But examine all the flaws, get close, get off it. Saying it's costly, but that's all shit. Broken, I hope I never have to go to that boat. Up six street, it's weak as a last boat. Now I want to hear what I'm going down. When all said and done, and we got a new show in town. With the record player, get the skip and slow it down. All that we think is real niggas earned the crowd. But until then, push that boat. Come on, put the boat. You got to play out that right now. I can't hear y'all. Say I. Push that buzz, everybody move to the back of the bus. Do you want to bump and slow with us? Right, we gonna break it down right here. Come on. Come on. Everybody move to the back of the bus. Do you want to walk and show me? 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 Do you want to walk and show me